everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. Today we're going to talk about something I get asked quite often. What is your favourite thing about your fish room? What is your favourite thing in your fish room? And there's a few things. We could choose any manner of things. It could be the fish themselves. Obviously I've got my lovely discus that I absolutely adore. I think they're the best fish ever. We've got Humphrey, the channel mascot, the flower horn. He's obviously so interactive, so fantastic. He gets on great uh, with me. He doesn't get on great with any other fish though, so there is that. Equipment, it could be my HMA filter. This is a filter that is basically a carbon block filter. It allows me to do water changes without having to do anything with additives or anything like that. It could be my TV. I have the TV here so I can watch YouTube videos. I can have Netflix, whatever going on in the background while I'm working away here. It could even be the radiator. The thing that gives heat to this room, that makes this room nice and toasty and such a pleasure to be in at this time of year. Or maybe, that's probably not Mega Tank. It might be Mega Tank soon, because Mega Tank is touching wood and crossing everything on the way to being fixed. Or it might just be all the fish and all the fish tanks that are in here. If I'm completely honest, there probably is no one thing that's my favourite thing in the fish room. It might be the HME, it might be the fish, it might be Humphrey, it might be the TV and the radiator and Mega Tank and all those things. But the one thing that ties that all together is a new thing that we've just got in the fish room. It's this! I had no idea what I was missing out on not having a chair in the fish room. This has revolutionised the hobby for me. I've only had this a day and it's a cheap, nasty, second-hand old armchair, swivel chair, but it's perfect. I can swivel to look at any direction, to look at any tank. When this is full, mega tank, when that's up and running, this will be, oh, it'll be a godsend. I've never known anything like it. I don't know why I didn't do this years ago. Now, given that I've got this chair in here now and that this is the warmest room in the house at all times because of the radiator, I actually worked from here today. Got the old work laptop down here, happily sat away in the baking heat in the t-shirt, sitting right next to Humphrey. What could be better? I can kick back, the TV's up there, and I can do a bit of work, watch some film, watch the fish, do some water changes, be here, not get distracted and have to go up stairs and take calls for work or anything. It's everything I ever wanted. So it is just a cheap Facebook marketplace find. Cost me a tenner, best tenner I've ever spent. I think if I go the whole hog and I've got something like a lazy boy or a recliner, I would never leave here. I'd probably sleep in here. It might just be too much. <laughs> it might push me over the edge. I'll sleep in here. Um, but yeah, cost me a tenner. Found it on Marketplace. Didn't have any Marketplace dramas to go. I just went, picked it up, got it. It's a bit old and a bit tatty, but for a tenner, what more do you want? And the fact that it's given me so much joy already, having only had it a day, it's fantastic. So if you're on a fish room in your house, tell me, is there anything else that I'm missing out on? I'll tell you, this is what you're missing out on. If you don't have a chair in your fish room, you're 100% missing out. Anything that encourages you to spend more time with your fish is, in my opinion, a bonus. I've already seen so much more by observing the goldfish that we just moved in here in the last video. Uh, I've seen Humphrey down here, got to interact with him a lot more. Spend the day in here, I'm not, I'm using the heat that this room is costing me, which is usually a, a bane. It's something that gets moaned about. That bloody fish room costing all that money. But I'm down here during the day working, using it. I'm, I'm not putting the heating on in the house at all to warm myself up because I work from home. Um, just uh, mind blown. Why didn't I do this ages ago? But like I say, let me know in the comments if you've got a tip or a, a trick, uh, a luxury, an indulgence, something like that, that you're doing in your hobby that I might not be doing. Um, I just can't believe I didn't think of this earlier. What we can also do is I can start um, doing live streams down here again. As you know, a few videos back, if you're subscribed, if you're not subscribed, click that button. Um, I built this tank and put it here, and this was normally where I would stand and do my live streams. But I can now do that on the seat with the laptop, get the camera set up, I can have the big TV having the chat comments and things like that. And so I'll do the live stream from here. So Friday night, 9 p.m. UK time, every week we do a live stream. Come join me on that one. We might try that down here as well. It just offers me up so many more options and solutions. A quick note on the live streams this week coming up, we will be doing the selection of the calendar pictures. So if you jump into my Discord server, you'll see there's a channel there called Calendar Picks. What we're doing is we are taking the viewer submission. So I want your tanks, your pictures, your fish, 
uh, we'll collate that into a calendar, sell the calendar and give all the profits to a charity. Um, if you want to join in, all you have to do is take some pictures of your tanks or your fish. We're going to go through them this week and pick some of the best ones. We might spread it over two weeks so you might have a bit more time. But jump into Discord, put your pictures up there, then jump into the live stream on Friday night, 9pm UK time, and we'll pick some of the best pictures and start putting the calendar together. All those links will be down in the description. I will leave you with that as I sit and hang out with my buddy here, relaxing in my very comfortable chair. I may still be here come Friday, who knows. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one. Bye!